The following is an audio recording of the Akanka Sutta, translated as Wishes by Thanissaro Bhikkhu and made available via accesstoinsight.org. On one occasion, the Blessed One was staying near Savati in Jessus Grove and at the Pindika's monastery. There he addressed the monks. Monks! Yes, Lord, the monks responded. The Blessed One said, Monks! Dwell consummate in virtue, consummate in terms of the Padimokha. Dwell restrained in accordance with the Padimokha, consummate in your behavior and sphere of activity. Train yourselves, having undertaken the training rules, seeing danger in the slightest faults. If a monk should wish, may I be dear and pleasing to my fellows in the holy life, respected by and inspiring to them, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection who is committed to inner tranquillity of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I be someone who receives robes, alms food, lodging, and medical requisites for curing the sick, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquillity of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, whatever I use or consume in terms of robes, alms food, lodging, and medical requisites for curing the sick, may that be of great fruit, of great benefit to those who provided them. Then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, when my kinsmen and relatives who have died and passed away recollect me with brightened minds, may it be of great fruit, of great benefit. Then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I be content with whatever robes, alm food, lodging, and medical requisites for curing the sick are available, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I be resistant to cold, heat, hunger, and thirst, to the touch of gadflies and mosquitoes, wind and sun and creeping things, to abusive, hurtful language, to bodily feelings that, when they arise, are painful, sharp, stabbing, fierce, distasteful, deadly, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I overcome displeasure, and not be overcome by displeasure. May I dwell conquering again and again any displeasure that has arisen. arisen. Then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I overcome fear and dread, and not be overcome by fear and dread. May I dwell conquering again and again any fear and dread that have arisen. Then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I attain whatever I want, without strain, without difficulty, the four jhanas that are heightened mental states, bless, pleasant abidings in the here and now, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. If a monk should wish, may I, with the ending of mental fermentations, remain in the fermentation-free awareness release and discernment release, having directly known and realized them for myself in the here and now, then he should be one who brings the precepts to perfection, who is committed to inner tranquility of awareness, who does not neglect jhana, who is endowed with insight, and who frequents empty dwellings. Monks, dwell consummate in virtue, consummate in terms of the Padimokha. Dwell restrained in accordance with the Padimokha. 
consummate in your behavior and sphere of activity. Train yourselves, having undertaken the training rules, seeing danger in the slightest faults. Thus it was said, and in reference to this was it said. This has been an audio recording of the Akanka Sutta, translated as Wishes by Thanissaro Bhikkhu, narrated by Jennifer Hawkins, Community Director for the Secular Buddhist Association.